All right, team, so today we're gonna be replacing the headlight bulb on a 2013 GMC Terrain. The bulb you'll need is an H11. So we're gonna go ahead and do that there. So the first thing you gotta do is remove this cover. So they're gonna have these push tabs that are already pulled out. Once you get all of those out, then just pop that up. That'll flip forward. Now, what most people will do is go in through the wheel weld right here. We're actually gonna go ahead and undo these bolts here and this one right here. That way this whole part will go ahead and be able to move. And then we'll have easier access to the cover that's, I don't know if you guys can see it, right here. So I already loosened these here, so we'll just go ahead and take those out. Obviously you wanna make sure you don't lose any of these. So we'll just put them right here in this little slot to kind of hold them in place. And like I said, I already untightened these. So that's the only reason why I'm able to do this by hand. All right, so now we have both of those there. Now it's this little one. So like these are 10 millimeters. This is an eight millimeter. So let's go ahead. It looks like I forgot to untighten that one. So let's do that. See if that's enough. Nope. So as you can see that bracket is already moving around. So make sure to like, I did this kind of backwards. You wanna take this one off first and then work on the bracket bolts. Otherwise this may fall and you don't want this to fall. So there it is, take that off, put that up here, take your bolt there. And now we have full access to that down there. So just like every other bolt, down here, it's righty tighty, lefty loosey. So let me pull, let me see if I can get it with you guys still here. There we go. Don't wanna drop it, so we're slowly bringing it up. There it is there. Put that out there for now. And there's the headlight bulb right there. So, I'm gonna go ahead and undo that bulb and then I'll come back right after that. All right guys, so here's the bulb out right now. Kind of see like how it's bent, which it shouldn't be like that could be why it wasn't working properly so but when you go to take it off there's a little tab that's right here on the bottom you lift that tab up which let me see if I can show you guys yeah it's too short but yeah to get it all you just lift that tab up and then pull this out and then this pops right out so what we're gonna do now is replace it with another one of these, which is h 11 So you wanna look at the bottom. If you're not sure, there, there's the part number right there, H11. So let's take this out of this packaging. Oh, here we are. So what you do, right? So there's the, you see those three tabs that are right there? 
there's gonna be grooves in the headlight for those tabs. You push those in, you turn them, and then that locks them in place. Very important that you do that, otherwise your, your headlights aren't gonna be working 100% as they should, okay? So let me go ahead and get that going. If you guys can see it, it might be too blurry. Yeah, it's a little too blurry, but I did get the headlight in there. It's in there locked in place. Like I said, same thing, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So now we're gonna go ahead and actually plug in the, uh, the harness part of it. Make sure you hear that click just like that now the harness is in place so before we go ahead and put everything together let's go ahead and start it and see what it looks like The lights are on auto, so let's just switch them up to on. So we make sure they're on. Driver side, passenger side, they both look good. And that's it. Now it's just going ahead and let's shut it off. like that all right team so i put the cap back on there right now so now we're going to go ahead and reinstall the the bracket so there's that little tooth right there on the top which goes right there where that square is at just go ahead and line that up get that on there over here let me line it up with one hand no with both hands and then i'll be back so see one thing that I did forget to mention when it comes to this plastic part here with the bolt, make sure you, all you have to do is snug it. You don't have to go super tight. Whoever had the vehicle before, did a little too tight and cracked it right here. Now this is what happens when you over tighten steel with plastic, just like that. So again, just something to, uh, to be mindful of as you're putting it. So just snug it in, don't over tighten. All right, team, so I put them in there, hand tight, and I put this one in first, the whole way it holds the bracket in place. Then I went ahead and put the other one in, and then the one that connects to the headlight itself. So, like I said, these are tens, and there's a correction. This is a seven, not an eight. So definitely you wanna make sure that those are all in there. So that's pretty much it, team. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this back up, but at all, if this video helped at all, please give me a, a thumbs up. Uh, consider sharing subscribing I'm gonna go ahead and keep doing a few more videos on different things that, that come up as uh, time goes on and then that's pretty much it team so until next time on to the next